It was a really sad day, it was at a funeral, I should not have been thinking about food. Some stringy bits and noodles, and I've got some noodles with me. Corns, kind of roughly lengthways, just to give it that's kind of most of my recipe. Um, raw food helps the body cleanse and detox, which is the body's natural state. Um, we every day detox our bodies, but those, um, the function of detox is very often blocked with processed foods, by cigarettes, by eating meat, dairy, and a very sort of kind of like a body that doesn't really move very much. What raw foods then does is just cleanses the body and gives the body the chance to say, oh, great, great, we're going back to our natural sort of uh, our natural function. <laughs> It's becoming much easier to do um, because people are make, creating recipes, more and more recipes that how, use everyday ingredients. There are raw restaurants and cafes popping up left, right and centre. It's become quite fashionable raw food. There's quite a lot of celebrities and models who are also into it. And, and also I think because people are getting a bit disillusioned with the um, mainstream medical way of dealing with health, people are t trying to see what they can do to improve their well-being. Our attitude to raw food is slightly different, um, as you know, we believe in, in fan food, in a, in a tasty food. Mm, so we've create we're using uh, only fresh vegetables to create our recipe. So tomato pizza, it's just sun-dried tomatoes. Uh, there is a buckwheat, uh, different uh, dry, different spices, you know, fresh, you know, parsley to create a really mouth-watering uh, taste. <laughs> We try to create like a little bit more complex dishes using you know different spices and herbs, marinating, fermenting, dehydrating, spiralizing. You know you can create different textures and flavors just by the way you cut the veggies and you know the sauces that you you know dip them in. And it's it's actually a very you know flavor you know flavors and cuisine. So we take the one. It will last a long time, for one year or two years. All the properties that this cereal or this nut has, for instance, the rice or the oats or the walnut or the hazelnut, you keep all that. 
because you're not cooking it. And you know that when we're cooking or boiling or frying anything, many things are going. Thank you. 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 Thank you.